Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris with Triple Helix Gaming, and uh, I figured that because there's been such kind of a hiatus in my video making, um, I figured I, while I am waiting on my new computer to be fixed and I'm using my old computer, I might as well just put out videos the same way that I would have with my old computer. Um, I, I kind of had to, because I lost all the gameplays that I previously had saved, because they were on my, my new computer and now it won't turn on, and you guys know that whole story. If you don't, um, go watch my last video, you know, so many problems, so little patience, that one. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my, my old computer, and since I deleted all the files and sold it to my dad, um, and I don't have my old saved files, I had to go ahead and get new gameplays. So, like, all of the, the gameplays that, you know, you're going to be seeing from me, you know, upcoming and that sort of thing are going to be uh, videos that I've gotten extremely recently. They're all going to be, you know, really new. They had to have been in my theater within the last, like, month um, or even closer than that because I only have, like, you know, eight slots in my theater, so anything past my eighth video is going to be completely fresh and new. And I think that's good because I think it, it keeps uh, Call of Duty up to date. I love RPGs. Um, and it, it, it keeps it up so it's like, oh, you know, if I was posting a million videos with Striker, um, it wouldn't be, you know, the pre-patch Striker from six months ago. It would be the, uh, the here and now. Um, so there's a couple things I want to talk about. First and foremost, I want to talk about this video real quick. Um, that's my last death of the game. This video is an interesting one because I went to, I was watching Fear Creds, and I'm sure you guys, or, you know, most of you, if not all of you, know who Fear Creds is. Uh, he was shouted out by XJaws, um, and he, he posts Moabs, you know, almost every day. He's a fantastic player. He's from the UK. Um, and supposedly his connection is virgin, uh, whatever that is. I, I, we don't have that in the United States. Uh, but whatever it is, it's working for him. Um, and so since he gets so many Moabs, you know, he's got, you know, six or seven hundred, something like that. Uh, people always like to write to him in the comments and they like to say, hey, Fear Creds, can you do a Moab with this? Can you do a Moab with the menu up, you know, the scoreboard? Can you do a Moab with this gun and this combination, whatever? But I saw an interesting one on there. Um, somebody said, hey, Fear Creds, can you do a Moab on 10 sensitivity? Um, and I haven't seen anything from him yet, but I kind of took that as a challenge because I looked at that and I said, I wonder if I could do that because, you know, I can get Moabs. It's not a problem. Um, but I wonder if, you know, using the almost uncontrollable 10 sensitivity, um, can I go ahead and get a Moab? And that's what this video is. On this, uh, this video, I apologize for some of the twitchiness, but that's not me. That's mostly theater mode, um, you know, being theater mode. What can you do? I am using 10 sensitivity in this video. Um, I set out for about an entire day trying to get a Moab on 10 sensitivity. And let me tell you, it is not easy. Um, if you're using a sniper rifle, uh, 10 sensitivity is like, it's, you know, more manageable because when you're zoomed in, it's like having three sensitivity. Um, but when you're on a full auto weapon, like I ended up using this, uh, this here MP7, it was not silenced. I think I was just using uh, range and extended mags or kick and extended mags, something like that. Um, and uh, I, I, it, it's very difficult. I'm kind of at a loss for words on how to explain it. I think the best way you can is like, um, I remember training myself to do a higher sensitivity back when I was playing Black Ops. And uh, the interesting thing about Black Ops was that there was uh, the combat training. And in combat training, you kind of had the option to set the, the enemies to be a little bit easier. Um, so that, you know, you could, you could pick up your skills without getting absolutely demolished. Um, and I remember when I first switched, uh, I was using you know, the FAMAS or the Commando, something like that. I switched over to 5 sensitivity from 3. I used to play on 3. Um, and 5 sensitivity was like so incredibly difficult to manage. I can't, I was like sitting there thinking to myself, how could anybody play on 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Um, and I've slowly got comfortable with 5, moved it up to 6. I now play normally around 7, uh, which is why I thought this was a manageable challenge for myself. I always snipe on 10, but, you know, as I said, sniping is like 3 sensitivity when you're zoomed in. Um, so this is, there's not many out there that are going to be labeled. I probably won't even include it in the title. I am in my, you know, it's one of those things that will catch the eye. Um, but yeah, Moab on 10 sensitivity, it took me about 7 hours of gameplay playing on 10 sensitivity to try and get it, and there it is. Um, 
it was not easy, but I really, I actually had a good time doing it, and that's that. Um, the the other thing I quickly wanted to mention is kind of just to, to shout out how loyal my subs are. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers here on YouTube, and I, <laughs> look at that Moab get a solid two kills. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but when a when a sub writes to me on Xbox or on YouTube and they say, "Where are the videos, man? I you know I'm subscribed to all these channels, but I really like your stuff, um, and I really want to see more," that just means like that means the world to me. I can't even explain it to you guys. Um, color me bloody. I love you, buddy, and I love all of you. See you guys later.